we saw the emphasis or the frequency in the Gospels. And Ephesus, we've established that God is not bipolar. He is not schizophrenic. In his judgment, he is love. And the kind of God that was preached before now, his character was defamed. What about judgment? God will judge you. How many of you have felt like that before? Somebody did you something. You look for what to do. You didn't find. God, except I'm not serving a living God. Except I'm not serving a living God. God will catch up with you. <laughs> what is the judgment of God? Oh, we're waiting for God's judgment. What is the judgment of God? Well, John 5, 22. For the father judges no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the son. So the father does not judge anybody. The father judges no man. But he has committed all judgment to the son. So when you see Jesus, you see God's judgment structure. When you see Jesus, you see God's judgment structure. Why? Look at what Jesus said. John 3, 19. And this is the condemnation. This is the judgment. The judgment is not in the future. The judgment is already here. This is Jesus talking. This is judgment. That light is coming to the world. Yes. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. The moment men choose evil, they have chosen their judgment. The moment a man chooses evil, he has made his choice for judgment. The light has come. Men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. So, the judgment of God is not God sitting on a throne somewhere. The judgment of God is in the choice of men. That thing called the judgment of God is in the will of a man. And I said it from the beginning of this teaching. In John 3, 16 to 18, read for me. John 3, 16 to 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, yes. but that the world through him might be saved. 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten son of he God. He that does not believe is judged already. Question, what is God's judgment? God's judgment will be seen in unbelief or faith. God's judgment will be seen in unbelief or faith. That is why from Genesis, God's plan has always been faith. We that believe have entered into the rest as God rested from his own works. He that does not believe is condemned already. It's not God sitting down and monitoring people's activities. Or there is one big TV screen in heaven where if they call your name, Isaiah. You are my man. You have maintained your seat. You are a good guy. Just keep sitting there. It's a good thing to have people like that in your church. It makes life easy. People who obey pastoral instruction for their own good. Isn't it a good thing? It's not like God will play television and then call names and as people are passing, they are evil. The judgment is here. And the judgment is within the confine of a man's will. It's not God. 